Very excited to have Ryan Casey in the Bastard Den. Hello. You bastard. I'm so excited to be here. Uh, I, you know what? We got that really came across. Too. Yeah, thank you. That was, uh, the Thanks, sincerity man. was there. Yeah. I really love that it's yeah, it's here. the bastard name, but you guys have like the cutest menagerie of like kittens that are sweet <laughs> and the sweet little puppy just running around nuzzling me while we're here. <laughs> well, the uh, the cats are uh, Fritz and Oreo. Oreo's the sexiest kitty alive. She's yeah, she looks good. Yeah, like and, that's uh, one hot pussy right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that is. I'm hey, dude, you. don't show up to comedians, all right? No, it's... I, <laughs> oh, I, you know, really, I shouldn't be able to. I mean, they do this all the time. I do no, this I'm once, not, yeah, once a week. No, you, you're doing good. Nice. So, yeah. Ryan, what's new with you, man? What's uh, what's going on in the world of Ryan Casey? Uh, I don't know. We did a... Uh, I'm here with uh, my good buddies, uh, Nick Hart and David Leon, who are uh, in uh, our comedy collective, yes, the, uh, the Isthmians of Comedy. And uh, we put shows on every, every couple months at the Argus... And we just did one last week. Uh, that was a Bill Hicks tribute, and that went. That was really cool. That yeah. went really well, really yeah. Well. Now, who all? A lot of you performed in that. I know just about all the Isthmians of comedy. Uh, yeah. You guys plus Dave Pickett, uh, uh, Stephen Pickett Davis, is an Isthmian, yeah, Dave Pickett, Nate Bjork, St- Nate, Nate Bjork, and uh, Adam, Waldron. Adam Waldron. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Adam's part of the uh, Isthmians of comedy. No, no, no we let him no, tag along. Though. We let him play. <laughs> yeah. He plays with us. He's an honorary. Yeah, he was just... He wishes he was... <laughs> he's lucky to know us. <laughs> he's, 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 he's kind of an intern. Yeah. yeah he's <laughs> it's me and of comedy in training. He's just cooler than us, I think, already. So we're... Yeah, he can't... He's No, he's, he's, not, he's definitely not cooler than us. As cool no, as a man without hair can get, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> that's saying anything. <laughs> no, he's cool. Guy. No, yeah, we like Adam. We love yeah. Adam. He did very well. Bill Hicks Tribute. He did very well. Yeah. So who uh, who else all... Uh, who all performed at the Bill Hicks Tribute? Uh, the three of us and Dave Pickett and uh, Nate Bjork and Adam Waldron and Stephen Davis. Stephen Davis. Yeah. Okay, so it was basically the ESPN's kind of. Yeah. And for those, oh, Nick Lynch was there too. Oh, Nick, Lynch. Lynch. Yeah, Nick Lynch was yeah, there. Was there. Nick Lynch. Yeah. Maybe uh, there's a listener or two that don't know that does not know who Bill Hicks is. Yeah, Bill Hicks was a uh, yeah one of the best comedians of uh, any time really, and uh, he passed away pretty young, and he's got he was very prolific and. Uh, I don't know, strong like social commentary. So it was cool. It was cool to take on some like just really good material, and it was almost like part theater, part stand up comedy. It was yeah. uh, it was cool. And he was alive. He was alive that night. Was he cool. was there. <laughs> A little bit. Uh, so you uh, uh, you're you're doing uh, the comedy show has a uh, gig coming up. The best comedians in Madison is like a tournament deal. Yeah, the contest. Yeah. Tell yeah. us a little bit about that, Ryan. So a little bit, yeah. It's sort of like Last Comic Standing, but not on TV <laughs> and uh, not as drawn out. And it's just a, yeah, it's a local stand-up competition at the Comedy Club, which is on State Street. And if you don't know, you should know because it's awesome. You go down there. We're down there every Wednesday for uh, open mic every Wednesday, and uh, there's really great comedians. And so everyone's signing up, and it's going to be a bunch of people. There's it's like going to be eighty people. There's going to be like eighty people content, signed 80 up. Yeah, and last Huge. year was it's only like thirty. Last year was ridiculous. It was packed like every almost every night for the for the competition. How, how do they break that up? Everybody does like two minutes. I don't know how they're going to do it this like year. Three minutes. Every last year we did three minutes, and we were there for a long time. Got eight, like yeah. what time of day does it start? It's they do it. Yeah, they do at, it. At it's going to be like three weeks, four weeks in a row. Oh, okay. It'll be like they'll dwindle it down each week. It I starts guess. the first Wednesday in February, and then yeah. they go from there every Wednesday. So, so is it on that first Wednesday, everybody goes? Yeah. I wow. think. I don't know. Oh, like, no. They think they're breaking it up to where, yeah. It's two like round two ones two and two rounds. round twos. Okay. Something like that. So who that. won it last year? Sean Moore. Sean Moore, yep. Sean Moore right. took That's first. Right. Oh, so this is for the funniest man in Madison. Funniest comic. Yeah. Funniest, yeah. 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 funniest comic cool. in Madison. Yeah. W- can we get Stoli in on this? No. Sure. <laughs> he looks he, funny, he's yeah. Retired. <laughs> <laughs> I almost said he's retarded, but I said he's retired. Oh, you said the R word. He's kind of both. That Aww. deserves a laser. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's the oldest Seriously, laser take, sound effect. Take, <laughs> take that thing away from him. <laughs> did you know, Jim, did you know that way back in like 1979, the guys in Star Wars did better than that with a telephone that pole? Was a I, know. I, was yes. afraid of it. I do know that. Thank yeah. you. I used to grow up next to a big radio tower that had big supporting <laughs> cables <laughs> like that, and I would do that all the time. I would go up and ping it with a rock and just make the sound. <laughs> it right. makes, it's, the sound it's the Star Wars laser sound. Yep. So if we wanted to see the Isthmians of Comedy out in Madison, uh, when are you guys playing, and where can we go see you at? 
you, collectively? I don't. We gotta. I don't know. When's the next show? Uh, I don't know when our show. next show is. Uh, I will be it. hopefully it's in February. Yeah, probably I'm gonna, we all got different shows coming up. Yeah, I'm gonna be at the Madtown Bash. Hopefully, when you guys get a, the date settled. Oh, look at that! You let the kitty out of the bag. I did. I'm sorry. Oh, well, you said you we were gonna talk back? about it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was, we, I was we, leading we, up to that. All right, early went off the air for a second there. Right before he said that. Yeah. Well, no. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, as Ryan Casey just said, uh, Mad Town Bash Three is in the works. Hopefully, sometime in March. Cool. Was it? I shouldn't have said something about that. And Ryan Casey is going to be. Blew it. Y- you're the first one. Time. You're the first one to confirm for Mad Town Bash. 3. Any bands confirming? It's just like going to be me. For th- I'm going to play. <laughs> I'm going to play music. I'm going to make you laugh. Well, that's for right. Because you four hours. You've been in a band. I have been in a band. I play bass very poorly. <laughs> what band were you in? Uh, we were called the Xerox Missive, which was my <laughs> <laughs> which was the name that I thought was so good. I like uh, it. It was uh yeah, it's, it's like a mic. Philip uh, Dick thing. I don't know if you guys know Philip Dick. He's like a paranoid uh, science fiction author who uh, oh. wrote a lot of paranoid science fiction, like uh, like Minority Report and Blade Runner and uh, Total Recall are all like from his stuff, and he. Uh, he thought that the FBI was after him, and he kept sending him letters like, release the files on me. I want to see, like, what do you have? And eventually they broke down and released it, and all it was was all the letters that he had sent <laughs> to them <laughs> asking for his non-existent file to be. So that was that. And, uh, yeah, I was in a band, and uh, I wasn't very good, and uh, I didn't think we were very good. But, uh, they let you play in clubs around town if you have <laughs> the equipment. Right. You show up on a Thursday at the Inferno. Um, you can be in a band too. So whatever happened with the band, or did did you quit? Did they fire you, or what happened? I got I got kicked out of the band. <laughs> <laughs> no, out. just because you sucked or what? I guess so. <laughs> I think so. Uh, how did they break the news to you? It was it was it was dramatic. It was like a breakup. It was like uh, the uh, guitarist whose house we practiced. I was like, oh, I think I need to take a break and you know figure out a few things. And uh, I don't know. I thought he just like needed to get a real job or something like that. And uh, a couple of weeks later, they had a band meeting, and uh, they're like, "So the band's gonna break up." And I was like, "Oh, okay, that's okay. I got this comedy thing's going on, no big deal." And then the guitarist is like, "Yeah, and I have this other side project going on with this guy Andy, <laughs> who I had I had known to be a bass player." And he's like, and "The thing about our side project with Andy is that we need a singer and a drummer." And I was like, oh, so you guys are just kicking me out of the band. <laughs> but you're being complete douches about it. And he's like, would you rather that we just like took a vote and kicked you out? And I yeah. was like, yeah, I guess so. And so I finished my drink and I put it down and I was like, fuck you guys. And wow. grabbed my coat and kind of walked out. Nice. And then as I left, I text messaged my friend who was the drummer. And was like, I'm not really mad. It was just a really cool, like, dramatic. Dramatic. <laughs> yeah, a little salt pepper. Well, that's awesome. They called it, your amp is in the van outside. <laughs> Get it to me later. <laughs> Very upset right now. Great yeah. story, man. Thank Great you. story. All right, hey, uh, how do we get a hold of the Isthmians of Comedy? What's your contact information? Uh, www.isthmiansofcomedy.com is our website. There, you can find each of us individually on on the Facebook. The Facebook. And usually, we'll have our shows and stuff printed on our Facebook page. You can be our friend if you want. I am very accepting of friendship requests. Not that I get that many of them. You're very, very lonely and needy. I, yeah, I'm just sitting <laughs> alone in front of my computer at home, just sad. <laughs> like, like, a sad <laughs> bastard. Like, me- messages like answered me, instantly please. there. Yeah. That explains why you were here in the studio before we were. Right. Well, yeah, I was, yeah. Mm-hmm. I was. I showed up, but they weren't even home. I was just sitting outside. You're There's frosting anything cookies. Else to, you could have shoveled the dryer. <laughs> <Got in. laughs> somehow. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for stopping in. Nick, nice seeing you again, man. Good seeing you guys. It's Dave, always, always a pleasure, man. Lyndon B. Johnson was oh. a transformer, yeah. Oh, <laughs> thanks for having me. I, I do have a... <clears throat> I'm hosting a weekend at the Comedy Club coming up. It's going to be the 11th and 12th of March, and I'll be hosting all weekend long, and that'll be cool. That's so, at the Comedy Club. Uh, that's at the Deuce. Comedy Club on State. Comedy Club on State. Go see it. Thanks, Sweet. Ryan Casey. Thank Appreciate you it. so much, guys. It's always fun.